In this video, I'll show how I made my very own three-layer custom Swiss Army knife, which I call the Martian. Because if I was stranded on another planet, this is the Victorinox that I'd want to have. The first layer contains the main blade, since this is a Swiss Army knife. It also contains the multi-tool in place of the small blade, in order to replace the bottle and can opener layer. It's not the best bottle opener, and I've never needed it to open a can, but it's there if needed and saves space overall. And last but not least, it contains my own custom quarter-inch hex driver, which can use both single-sided and double-sided bits, and is capable of both inline and T-handle driving. The second layer has the metal file. Even though it's intended for metal, it will also cut plastic or wood just as well, so there's no need for a wood saw layer. I've also managed to fit the awl from the opener layer, to be able to drill or poke holes if needed. I didn't include the Victorinox pliers because I think there are better options. The Knipex Cobras that you see me using during the assembly process, for example. They have a much bigger grip and can be paired nicely with the other tools on the Martian Swiss Army knife. With the exception of pliers, I don't think there are any other tools the Victorinox offers that I feel like I'm missing out on. Which is why, like I've said, I think this is my perfect Swiss Army knife. The third layer contains the scissors, which I think are self-explanatory. The very nice Victorinox scissors. Then, since I have no use for the partial hook, and saw people using it as a T-shank holder, I decided to replace it with a proper T-shank holder that works much better. The version you see in the video is actually an earlier model, and I've managed to improve the side stability even more in the latest version, so it's very solid now. This is what I call the Martian. It's a three layer and has the standard Victorinox knife, multi-tool, file, scissors, and all. And in addition to that, it has my own custom bit driver that's both inline and T-handle, as well as a custom T-shank holder.